Welcome once again, Gravel fans, to your regular Saturday lunchtime helping of professional wrestling. Coming up later, that British title fight. But with the contestants already on their way in, why not take a front row seat with your commentator, Kent Walton. Thank you very much. Yes, indeed. Welcome to ringside at the Queen Elizabeth Hall, Oldham. We can promise you a great program from this Dale Martin promotion with a very popular Alan Kilby putting his British light heavyweight title on the line. That's a little later on. First, it's heavyweight time and the introduction from our MC, Brian Crabtree. Hello, wrestling fans, once again. Our first contest is an heavyweight contest to be wrestled over six five-minute rounds, two falls, two submissions, or a knockout will decide the winner. Gives me great pleasure to introduce on my left in the red corner our British heavyweight champion, none other than Tiger Dalmier Singh. His opponent in the blue corner, the globe trotting wrestler, ladies and gentlemen from Lancashire, Ripper Raven. And number three this lunchtime, our referee, Mr. Jeff Kay. Yes, Jeff Kay from Hull, the referee in this one. Six five minute rounds, two falls to decide this heavyweight contest. And this, the General John Raven, or Ripper as they call him, 18 and a half stone of him. Well heavier than his opponent, the enormous, as I have thought. Hey, 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 you wouldn't even think like that. The British heavyweight champion, of course, Galbia Singh. Seconds away, round one. Six fives, two falls to the side. Singh, there from the Punjab of India. All seven and stone, two of him. Giving away a stone of five pounds here to Raven. Come on. Come on. Come on. Singh in his usual. Neat. One wrestling boots, but a, a different type of... Uh, in color gear this time, yeah, all yellow, knee protectors and trunks, and some heavyweight from the Punjab. But he's resided in Leeds since around uh, the mid 60s. amateur wrestling at the Leeds Athletic Institute, Hilltop Amateur Wrestling Club in Bradford. Turned pro in the early 70s. And finally got his dream, British heavyweight title. It was the way he had to go with it. If he hadn't, there would have been a tremendous crack in that ring. He just Five. had to go with that whip. Good uh, double wrist lock there, back there. Come on, ref. Come on. 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 Can he get his back to the camera? Yes, he can. There it is. Now all he's got to do is to hold him there. Not too easy. All the way up from there to a double finger into the left. Old Japanese stranglehold by Singh. That should slow Raven down a little bit. Sir K saying his name occasionally, reminding him that uh, he's right there should he wish to submit. No such idea in his mind at the moment. He'd rather crawl to the ropes and get a break. Which he gets even without the referee calling it. Singer step back. 
Just under two minutes now in this first round of six. And again, Raven gets in there fast. All right, Albert Cora. Savannah. Albert Cora. But, uh, 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 uh. Oh. The referee doesn't know it's a punch. He wasn't sighted. Gil Seng sure does. With a headlock and strangle now, as it should be laid on. It's very difficult to get out of that, but uh, Singh can't score with it, so he might just let him go after a little bit now. Even with a hair pull, doesn't release it. Under a minute now, this first round. Singh completely in charge. At the time of going to press. champion smiling at the moment quite happy with the situation there you got a couple of shakers in that uh, particular round this is the boy that incidentally was the first wrestler to wrestle in South Africa in a multiracial match they've asked him back three times since great guy Gil is known to his friends in the wrestling game real globetrotter seconds away round two round two five to go and no score. Two falls to decide this heavyweight contest here at the Queen Elizabeth Hall Oldham. Dalbia Singh, India. Ripper Raven, Bolton. I have seen Raven a couple of times before. So I'm first in 1982. Hasn't changed much since the way he's behaving, actually. Quite a few instant moves have come from him already, and the referee watching him a bit closely. Yes, nice ball. Double leg grab over the curve of the Boston. No, can't get him. And he'll get to the ropes again. There he is. So Singh will just have to get him into the center. to the crowd here. They're an orthodox type of face bar by Raven. Gets his man down very near the bottom rope. Notice that Singh doesn't even bother to reach for the bottom rope. He'd rather wrestle his way out of it than he has. Singh. 
face bar on the chin there. Yes. Well, again, he'll reach for the ropes, and if he realizes that his feet can easily go under the bottom rope, he'll try and get the break. Yes, he felt the rope then, gave him the clue, and that's it. Puts his leg on top and gets the break. Even before the break is given, Sack steps back. You notice that? Two minutes left, round two. Still no score. Raven with a chance of a single leg Boston. He thinks so anyway. He's going to try for it. Uh, I can't get him over. And it's decides to have a little go, but not seriously, but Raven complains then, all right. Nice duck underneath, Full Nelson. Just a minute to go, one, two. Sing with a Full Nelson. Side head chancery from a Nelson. Still the side head chance for Fifteen seconds. That just one public warning against Raven. Let's follow him over to his corner, complaining about a little eye treatment. Just a four-arm smash. It was not the fingers. No, it was a four-arm smash. Caught him across the eye. And that can happen all the time. Raven has been wrestling out of the United States of America for some time. He was an amateur for two years with the Bolton Harriers. Seconds away, round four. Round four, halfway through the mark, no score, three rounds to go. Two for alls to decide this. And Jeff Kay, the referee, has only given Raven one public warning so far, but here's the second. And once again, the referee gives Ripper Raven his second and final public warning for using the fist. Both public warnings for using the fist. Well, the only time twice he's been caught, anyway. Not the backdrop that Singh meant then, but it was pretty effective just the same. Now the slam. No, throw rather than a slam. Raven's back getting weakened now, and there's the back weak now on the slam. Kick off the ropes. Singh really in charge now. And there it is, a half pile driver. Between a slam and a pile driver, but it slows the man down all right. He might not even get up from it. I think that could be it. Knock out to Singh. Round four. And it just took him one minute, 40 seconds to get the winning knockout. Gets the man Raven with two public warnings. Brian Crabtree. And round four. Raven fails to beat the count. The winner, the British heavyweight champion, Tiger Galvia Singh.
in appreciation for Luke Connor, Ripper Raven. Well, he's still complaining, but he won't get anywhere. With all his shouting, he won't do any good at all. Sing the winner by a knockout in round four. And we take a short break now, and after it...